Hello, I'm Eric McEwen of the Science of Hearing, and with me today is Neil Fine, audiologist and owner of HearFine Hearing Clinic in Bells Corners in the western side of Ottawa. Hey Neil. Hey, how are you Eric? You have a practice within a medical facility that people can go and visit you on a daily basis, but you do something else very unique where you focus a lot on home visits. Could you tell me why? Well, I started seeing more seniors in isolation and having difficulties with transportation. I saw it as a huge value to the family members to not have to make these huge arrangements for them to go to an outing to the clinic and it was just easier for everyone involved in the process. It's funny though too, a few years ago, my friends, childhood, not uh, audiology, were mentioning to me they themselves had relatives that were having difficulties with transportation but needed hearing services. And you know, the message to me couldn't be clear. It was like the world was shouting at me, you need to do this service. I've received so many compliments from the family members about what a great service I'm providing and I really feel that these have been some of my most rewarding cases. So there's no question that there seems to be a real need for this kind of service. Can you tell me about some of your specific cases? I had uh, one patient that was moving into a retirement residence and she was having a really difficult time adapting to it. She was really socially withdrawn, she was depressed because she couldn't hear. I gave her the hearing aid, all of a sudden she's able to partake in the activities. When she's sitting around the table in the dining hall, she can now talk to the people at her table. And because of that, I got a really nice thank you letter. Just also mentioning she wasn't embarrassed about mishearing. I've also received a lot of compliments about my competence, competence in choosing the right hearing aid. You see these days, there's so much you can do with hearing aids. They can connect to your phone, they can connect to your TV, they can have remote controls, there can be multiple programs that you change manually, you change the volume. And to some of the patients I see, this is really overwhelming. I make it simple and I make it automatic for those who need it. And there is one patient in particular I do remember when I gave her the hearing aid, she gave me a kiss after I put it in her ear and I asked her if she could hear me. I, I was just really excited to see how excited she was and I do have to mention this was my friend's grandmother so not all my patients were kissing me. Uh, memorable nonetheless. I heard that you did something really unique when you started up your practice. Could you tell us about it? Uh, I was really fortunate that my great uncle opened a floral business in Ottawa called Fines Flowers which every senior is aware of in Ottawa. So what I did when I was going to these retirement homes, I was hand delivering these fake flowers in an orange vase with my business information. And for those who did call me when I'd go up to their rooms, I would see that flower still there, it was either on a table on the windowsill, and they would mention to me, easiest flower to take care of. That's a great story. Thanks for taking the time to come and share it with us today. Ah, no problem.